Now, check this out. But here's a clip from the newspaper. <laughs> Boris Leader is Postmaster's guest. Got your right glasses? I don't need them right now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> she got the spirit. You, you can stand and sit. Yes. Yes. Read it out loud. You didn't show it to Patty. Say it Morris Leader is Postmaster's guest. <laughs> Among the prominent visitors to the Chicago Post Office this week uh -oh. were He's uh, it's the it's shaded it's shaded out. President Jewali, founder of the Morris Institute of America. Among the prominent visitors to the Chicago Post Office this week were President Drew Ali, founder of the Morris Science Temple of America, Mrs. Drew Ali, Nikki Gill, and Jay Small. Jay Small Bay. After a brief but pleasant visit with Postmaster Arthur C. Bluter, the party was conducted through the different departments of the Postmaster by a guide. Afterwards, President Ali expressed sincere appreciation for the courtesy shown him and his party by the postal authorities. The Morris Science Temple of America is an organization with a national scope. Plans are underway to have it incorporated as a religious corporation, in which case it will possibly be the only non-white non organization in the United States fostering a Muslim religion. Already, there are branch temples in Detroit, Milwaukee, and Pittsburgh. Wow. In connection with each temple, some kind of business enterprise is conducted. The Detroit members are under the dis district leadership of Lomax Bay, have a first-class grocery and meat market, and soon will be established another. The Pittsburgh members have started a laundry. The Chicago members are preparing to open a grocery store in market in the 31st block on Indiana Avenue. They are spending their money with each other as far as it is possible to do so and creating opportunities for each other. They, in they entertain themselves, friends, and visitors with dancing, music, and refreshments every Saturday evening at Unity Hall. <laughs> President Ali teaches fundamental principles which are desired for civilization, such as obedience to law, respect and loyalty to government, tolerance and unity. He further holds that only by adhering to the principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice can individuals and any group reach their highest possibilities and be recognized by the national government of which they are part and partial in other nations of the world. Regular meetings are held every Friday and Sunday evening at Unity Hall, 3140 Indiana Avenue. And friends and visitors are always welcome. What did you hear that you never heard before? President. President, okay. Saturday party. Yes. Saturday yeah. party, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. There you go. 
That's good. What else? Was it saying that the temples was actually opening businesses? Yes. That's Act One of the Judicial Law. That's what I've been on. Grand chiefs, head officials of all temples, all businesses. Businesses is, is who he's addressing to. That must be approved by the prophet. That had to be approved just like a temple. And you need to hire your own people for your business. If you expect money from them, that's what the prophet is talking about in this article. It's just been last month I've been talking about this to uh, to the Moors here in Chicago. What else did you hear in here? The other, it says only non-white, but the only uh, non No, he said what? They say non-white, because it's only non-European. No, he said, the, the, whoever wrote the article said first. it's not for whites. Oh, it's not. Yeah. That's what you read, right? No, it's a non-white organization. The only non-white organization that is teaching the world. Yes. yes. So what does that tell you? That, can a European join the more science of America? No. No. no, you cannot. What else did you get in here? <laughs> Some more meat. There's a lot of meat in this article. You referred to him as president. Yes. It was saying that they were prepared to be a religion. Yes. Yes. That's right. Prepare. So he had not changed yet. Right. Let me give this a pat. So she can. Oh, it's gonna get hot now. Let's get hot. I got a piece of meat, especially for you stars. Thank you, sister. So much. Anybody know what this is? Mm -hmm. You want to say something else? Yeah, I want to say something else about the article. Okay. The postmaster general, so that was that came from the post office. Yes. Yeah. The postmaster general was a big <laughs> 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 oh, no. It is. That's right. It's federal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Actually had more power. And he thanked them for treating him so well. They had a spray. Now you're going to hear another article where he was on a train from Chicago to go to uh, Springfield and they gave him a spread there too. And he talks about how he's set with millionaires. How many of you read that article? Millionaires. And I'm going to tell you some of who some of those millionaires were. You in Chicago now. That, that, uh, when you talk about the postmaster general, they remind me of. When it says about uh, the government behind him and the prophets behind you. Good point. Anybody know what this is? Really ill ordination business. Yes. Divine ministry. But now, what's interesting about this? You have one on this side. Why does he have two ordination papers? The answer is very simple. One has August 31st, I mean, August 31st, 1928. The other has the 5th of July, 1928. Why? Come on, scholars. Oh, it wasn't. One was um, and the other one. Anybody else? You know, I should say that. July 1928, his divine minister's paper read what? <clears throat> and these read Brother Billy Gill Supreme Ranch. Take a look at it, pass it around, bring it back up. <laughs> now, this is what I want to talk to y'all about. This is real important. Hey, Grassy. Yes, 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 yes. Also, the people need to understand those are the original. Yes. So that's the original. You see, it's in color. The, the ink is in color, right? It's the original. 
It was original. So for those who are claiming that they are the original, they don't have this information. Why don't you have the original documents of the original ordination papers from the first Supreme Branch?